Hi, I'm Seamless, and this is, I think, the sixth um, 30k tutorial. This is a uh, attempt at a belaying sound, and it was suggested by Jacob Finton. Anyway, this is what the bass sounds like. <laughs> This is a bit interesting. Um, this was based on uh, the how to base 71 kind of thing in the sense that there's a bit of resampling and then it's being vocoded. However, um, the source of the vocoding is actually I took from uh, the Savant uh, Future Music interview where he resynthesized his voice. I've done this before, but not to this effect. So this is this is actually what I recorded right here. You won't what? And then I put it in a harmer, this guy here. Now this is what this guy sounds like by itself. Yeah. So I put it on the Hertz, um, because I originally was trying to make this uh, by itself, the be a thing, so I, I resampled my voice in here, and I put the Hertz on with the, the pitch and the phase things. You can see here a bit of, of uh, prism. The sharpness is way up. And I'm controlling the time manually with an automation clip. That's this guy here, the pink one. Uh, yeah. And uh, let's see what else. Anything weird? I had the random, the phase randomness set up here just for fun. It's, it was distorted, but it's mostly just being compressed. There's a lot. There's some format mutation going on in the format mutation window. As you see here. I also have a little bit of the. Um, I have the mix engaged so that some of the original. Uh, harmonics are coming through and that's vocoding this guy so this dude is again more hertz nine i uh, kept at the saw a uh, really big panning but i am automating the panning this is this guy here um, i'm using a low pass that's this guy up here and there's not much else to this sound. It's being distorted with log. I have the asymmetry going on on the mono side and a bit of compression. There's EQ on this. Um, on on the, the the voice section, I am compressing it uh, pretty hard on all bands so that it stays a full spectrum sound. And so then when they're both together, let's see. Uh, let's have not the filter. You can hear that without the filter engaged, uh, the high frequencies are very, very loud. And that's because the filter spends most of its time not at 100%. So this means that there needs to be accentuated high frequencies. So in the in the vocoder, um, I set it to order four, kept at the original voice count, and I turned the filter fatness kind of far down. It's because I have a rather high uh, bandwidth setting. On the uh, on the release, I turned, I turned on, on the time, the ADSR here, I turned the uh, hold and attack down to the minimum minimum value, and then the release kind of down a little bit. But I turned it to the second waveform type, which uh, actually it's it's a bit it's a bit of a weird thing. But that this sort of double curve here means that for a second there's more release, but then it cuts out kind of fast. Anyway, I carved out the low frequencies because the low frequencies are being taken care of by the carrier as it's being looped in here through with the low pass. I have a little bit. Of, it actually turned up a bit on the pitch because the the settings I had on the harmer made the voice really kind of low to begin with. Um, I have uh, some interesting bandwidth settings here. Uh, some pitch settings, I really wanted to bring up the high end because, because again, of the format changes that I made in the original Harmer, uh, there wasn't a lot of high end, so I, I forced some in there. That's it for that, and then uh, it's EQ'd. It's distorted or compressed rather. Now the compression here, um, I, what I did is I kept the sub pretty much where it is. I made the mids sort of like this. I did this sort of up down compression here, or I guess rather down up compression. And then the highs, I made it pretty big so that I could compress it kind of hard. Because again, I need the high frequencies. And here I'm not actually using the compressor. I'm just using the uh, salt saturation. That's being EQ'd again. And then there's reverb. So what's here, the reverb is that I have I have set pretty wide band, high delay, 
a b- big stereo, but um, it's also damped pretty hard. So that's mostly mid 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 kind of uh, boomy reverb. And I'm automating the wet value now. Primarily, what I'm doing is I'm turning up the wet value when there isn't any orig- like dry happening. So that like leads into things. It's kind of like accentuation and like accent thing. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So this project will be available to download. Uh, this is 30k tutorials, which are um, sound design request tutorials I'm doing. If you want to make a request, uh, the Facebook link where you will make the request is in the link of the, in the description of this video. Do not make a request anywhere else because I will not pay to do it. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know. And as usual, have a nice day.